The Kardashians and Jenners are deciding whether they want to be armed and dangerous as they fear for their lives from stalkers and many robberies. Hey guys, it's Allie with your weekly dash cap. And to start, Kendall Jenner is really concerned about her well-publicized stalker problem. Literally once a week have a stalker, maybe more like twice a week. Someone shows up at my house every single day, not even paps, like le- like paps. What but do they also- do? They just like wait outside my house for me and my security guards don't let me leave. Kendall also talks about the robbery that went down in her house where all of her jewelry was stolen. She explains how scared the whole family is right now for their security. My house was robbed maybe eight months ago and I was home with a couple of my friends. Every single piece of my jewelry was stolen. There were like a lot of sentimental things that I had that sucks, you can't get those things back. I feel like we're so targeted. Just a side note, Khloe Kardashian is also talking about the time she thought she had an STD. Well, I'll let her explain. Did spinning for the first time and the next day, I was like, I swear to God, I have an STD. I was like, I've never felt like this before. And so the doctor was like, what have you done? I was like, nothing. I don't even know. I haven't even had sex. And he was like, so I just went to Soul Cycle. Can I get something from there? He's like, yeah, you're just bruised. It's not an STD, you freak. I just, I never had a bruised puss. Who knew that could happen? Anyway, Kendall and Chloe are considering gun ownership for self-defense. But Kim, of course, has actual experience of being held at gunpoint during her Paris robbery and is not down with weapons in her house. I'm not comfortable with it. I wouldn't want my kids around it. I wouldn't want like totally. sleepovers going on here with the kids here. And I know there's a gun, th- it was three against one or, you know, six or seven, you know, they, I didn't know about it. There's no way I was gonna get out of there. I'm not like Lara Croft. Cut to Coco and Kenny at the gun range. And it turns out Chloe is basically John Wick while Kendall is basically scared of ass. Good, you see where it hit? <laughs> Good, just keep shooting him. I can't believe Chloe like jumps into this and is so comfortable. Good. Good. I've obviously been to a shooting range before, but it's literally scaring me so bad I'm hiding behind a wall. But okay, Kendall does get over her initial fear and bust some caps or whatever people say. But by the end of this episode, Kendall and Chloe actually end up deciding to leave the guns to the professionals. So quickly, Kim bought a cute new dog for North named Sushi and it's seriously yippy and kind of driving her crazy. So she pulls a total princess bride. Are we going to have a problem? My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die! No! Anyway, this week was a little slow, but apparently all hell breaks loose next week. So click right over here to subscribe for that and our recaps every Monday. And make sure you watch the show every Sunday night only on E!